side. Terrific shot. Wasim Akram, Danny Morrison, and now PJ Barker have been put to the sword from Salim Raza. And so that's a very good hit indeed. Used his feet, got down to the pitch of the ball. Cracking shot. He may have been somewhere else, but that worked. Almost one of the shots of the day, actually, because again, he advanced down the pitch to the quicker bowler, PJ Barker. And I think he's really looking to hit that one through mid-off, but really he squeezed that through extra cover. And that bottom hand just coming into play there, but boy, that rocketed away to the boundary. Exciting to watch. A little bit unorthodox, but very effective. Well, this is more like the attack, he says to himself, having fought against the, the big sides. This is more like my game. And even that miscue to backward point, which would have been snapped up by a jaunty Rhodes or a... Here he goes. Big high one and over. He can hit them, this boy. Well, there is a man down at long on. So the danger there is he doesn't get it right. He is in trouble. Good use of the feet to the pitch of the ball. He hits up and he hits long, as you said, Grant. It was all carry. It's quite a long hit. That's gone away very fine. The final lead is up. Rodan Lafayette was struggling after it and doesn't make it. Four leg buys. So 10 runs off two deliveries. Well, this is a great start. And that's, I think, the reaction from being hit down the ground for six is to try and get it nice and full. He did that, but he just didn't get the line right. Well, here he comes. Oh, he's got another four over the keeper's head. But he had two big shots in that over. And they produced for him 10 runs. And for the team, 14. Up comes the 50 after 10 overs. Oh, he's heaved that away. Goodness gracious, where's that gone? That's another six. Sonny Mraza hits his third six. Well, this is a great shot because it's very much premeditated. Look at the footwork here. He's in business before the ball gets delivered. He opens up that stance, and all he really has to do from a bowling point of view, or ask the bowler to put it in the right spot, put it in my hitting slot, please. Tim Delater does that perfectly, and over the rope it goes. Uh, if he can just be patient, Salim Raza. Just uh, hold fire for the rest of this over. He's got six already. Patience. Be ashamed to get out now. He catches up with that. That's going to be four. He lobs it over the head of the man at fine leg who was inside the circle. And he races up to 49. Well, this is not good bowling at all because he, he could see the footwork. We could all see the footwork before he let it go. And that really is putting it in the hitting slot with your fine leg up inside the circle. That's just really bad bowling. And I'm not quite sure what he's thinking of there, Tim Delita. But with the footwork, what about a Yorker? How about putting it right around those toes there, which are firmly cast into a hitting position before he's even let the ball go? If can get it nice and full, he might not get down in time. Looking for the first 50 of the World Cup. For a UAE player, he's got to get it too. He'll get a couple. And will come back easily for his second. And that is a well-made half century for Salim Raza. Well, a small crowd here, but uh, we're seeing what they've come to see. 
and that's a bit of good cricketing action and this it really has been a fine 50 a match winning 50 if he can go on a little bit longer he'll cement that victory strike rate 124 well, that's a good cricket shot we've seen some funny ones but that is an excellent shot everything in the right place and it fizzles to the boundary Well, the first two or three shots in the over perhaps went copybook stuff. This is the shot of a master, this. Magnificent square cut. The balance is there and perfect timing. Rolls the wrist, hits it down, and that is a superb square cut. And he's got it over the fence again. A fourth six for Salim Raza. Well, he's shown me and he's shown everyone. He's not scared to have a look at the off spinner as well. He had to go for three balls. This is probably as close as he's been to getting out because it only just cleared the man at long on. Only by about 10 feet. Then... Yeah, number four was the number in the over, that's for sure. Will number six be? in my time but this has got to be right up here with it 97 without loss change in commentary now Tony Lewis and Sir Richard Hadley floated high and floated far over the boundary line again it's a long boundary for a long time I thought it might land in the hands of the fielders straight over the top well that's his 6-6 now and that is Salim Razo is enjoying himself out there and Stephen Lovers just lobbing the ball up there and it was made into a full toss really and the man, in fact there are two men back, one on the long arm boundary and the other one probably about 30 metres from him so they're trying to cover that area. Cracking shot. I mean there's a man down there about 15 yards away and he made five yards. First bounce, really zip past him. Good use of the footwork as well and uh, quite happy to get a bit of loft on it but he did hit it very straight and of course the ball gathered pace as well off the uh, off the outfield nothing wrong with the delivery just very well played indeed here we go again now he might be caught he is caught super catch really good catch so difficult to scan with the rope at your heels and keep your composure. Bess Adderant takes the catch. And so Salim Raza, who's really entertained the crowd today, and it's been a wonderful innings, but he'll be saying to himself, well, had I been just a little more cautious, I might have gone on to get 100 here. But he did hit some wonderful, wonderful shots. Just got under that one far too much, really. Got a lot of height on it. And Zadra there took the ball probably a metre inside the long on boundary right. Very good catch taken very much the way the Australians like to catch the ball. Well played though, Salim Raza, 84. Look at that strike rate though, 68 deliveries. And so he's been caught out of bold lovers for 84. So the first wicket goes down with 117 on the board.